Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today uh, we're gonna do a little bit of maintenance. Uh, here at the shop we uh, we cut our lawn. Uh, this is uh, Torbit, I think, or Torbilt uh, Weed Walker. It's a four stroke. Uh, having, a, if you notice here, I got the choke slightly on. So I've been having an issue with this carb for the longest time. Uh, we also uh, broke the uh, the prime. It's got a crack through it, so we put a piece of uh, vinyl over it to, just to get us through the day. Um, the machine's a good machine, works really, really well. So what I did is I ordered, I looked up to see if I can order just the actual bulb prime. And the actual uh, primer there is about $9.99. So what I ended up doing is I ended up ordering uh, a full-out carb. Now the carb itself was $19.99. And it came with an extra bulb or an extra primer. So that's perfect. So what I'll do is I'll get this carb on here. I'll show you guys how I do that. Um, and what I'll do is the extra bulb, I'll keep it for this choke, for this uh, carb. And I'll throw it into the ultrasonic cleaner and clean out uh, that carb and we'll keep it as a backup. So let's, uh, let's get to it. Okay guys, so I opened up that uh, box, that kit. And there's the carb. And it's the exact same card. And they actually sent three of the uh, primers, which is cool. They sent a fuel filter and uh, some extra, I guess, uh, some extra fuel line. And that's another another filter that sits inside a tank. So that's pretty awesome. Now, all these designs are slightly different. So I'll most likely we'll be just putting the carb in because there is a, a filter in here. We'll take a look. But let's get this uh, carb off and let's see uh, how she looks. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to take this clip off, and this is your uh, cover. And we've got uh, two screws here. I think those are hex bolts, but we can use the 14. No. Something smaller. Okay, we got it. Take that off. Now these uh, screws here are quite long. They go through the air box, right through the carb, and right into the head. Now this choke's actually attached to the uh, air box, which is awesome, so it's easy to switch it over. What'll be slightly tricky is getting the fuel line or the um, throttle cable off. We'll take a look at that. You gotta just keep on screwing these things. There we go. It should come right off. There we go. And there's a breather. There we go. And that's off. That's pretty straightforward. And there is the throttle cable. So let's just pop. Let's remember where what goes where. So I'm just gonna put a, a little mark on the top one. So we remember that that's the one on the top of the car. So let's just put a little mark here. We know that's going on the top. That should be pretty straightforward. Pop off. Pop back on. Off. Hey, 
fuel all over me. Great. And that one's gonna go on here. I'm just gonna squeeze that in. Like so. Let's grab a little plier and squeeze that. So we're just gonna push that in there, guys. There we go. We're good. Tight, tight, and tight. So this is acts as Okay, so that's gonna go on there. So our what is the old one? Oops, dropping everything. Okay, so that's the old one. And that was on this way. Like so. And this has got an O-ring on it. Like that. Okay. So this has got to come off. Why is that coming on? Okay. So this is slightly different. Where that has a slip on, and this does not. Okay, so we just got to, there's an old ring back there. We just got to pop that off and take that section out. Get a pick. I'm just going to pick that out. Move it around to find out where it is. There we go. There we go. And that's out. Slightly smaller. I think it should be okay though. Let's see. So this should, if I'm not mistaken, go in like that. And mount this way. So let's just see if we got throttle. We do, and it pops out. Okay, that's not good. Hmm. Okay, so these are slightly different. So, how are we going to do that? All right, let's find that piece that fell on the ground, and then we'll see if we can utilize that. And where it go? I'm just going to put you on pause for a second, guys, and I'll find that piece that fell off. Okay guys, so it actually does work with removing that piece. So I'm gonna leave it at, at that. I'm just gonna push that in through there and we'll mount this back on there and it should be good. Um, just interesting with, uh, I guess it's for a different application. I guess all these machines, uh, as they progress, they change or as they make new models, they change. But I think we'll be okay. So we'll leave that there. Uh, chokes there and the choke works well so this is at the bottom that's one with the spacer and this is one at the top so what we're gonna do is uh, what we're gonna do is go ahead and put a little bit of Loctite on that uh, on this because these things do vibrate 
and we'll put them back in place and see what happens. And then we'll check the throttle and make sure that it's, uh, that it's working okay. But uh, let's get the top one in first. So, and what you want to do here is put a little bit of grease around that. So we're going to use a uh, electrical grease. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of touch just around the, the edge of that. Like this, like so. That should be good. All right, so. That's on there. And that's got an old ring stuck in there. We have to take that ring out. Okay, I got the old old ring out. That's fine. Got the new. There we go. Pop that in place. Perfect. Now we'll get the throttle on. We'll just tighten that up a bit by hand first. Well, we got to get uh, the back breather hose back on. There we go. Got a little bit of Loctite on that one. We'll wiggle it around a little. And we're on. We'll tighten that up. Choke's good. Why you want to use a little bit of Loctite on these things is these things vibrate like crazy. And a lot of times they'll come loose and that's why you'll have issues. So if you put a little bit of Loctite, I won't use the red Loctite, I'll use the blue Loctite. Just because if I want to take it out later, it's a little easier to get the uh, carb out. And we'll just tighten these up. A slight torque. Torque. I don't know we're tightening too much. But you want to push it up against that other area there where the uh, back end of the carb is. There's a piece of um, gas that you want to tighten up against. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this out. We'll get a little bit of uh, carb clean or uh, brake clean. We'll clean out that bottom piece, clean out that filter. And... Uh, We'll just throw a little bit of in there. Towel. All right. Clean that up in there. And we should be good. In. We'll clean this out too a little. Just stood in the sink. Wipe it down a little bit, and we'll get it back on there. So I got to get this thing an oil change also. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make sure that this carb is running correctly before I go ahead and do that. And that just pops on just like that. So let's, uh, let me prime it. See if we can get fuel. Oh yeah, she's getting fuel, which is good. We'll get the fuel up. It's good. Give it a couple of shots. Chokes off. Throttle's good.
as easy as that. We got it started, started first pull, which is awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this carb away. We'll put it, uh, we'll put it in the ultrasonic cleaner. I'll take it apart and throw it in the ultrasonic cleaner and uh, we'll keep this for a rainy day. And uh, I've got extra bulbs for it or extra prime uh, nibs for it, which is awesome. And we'll also put that ultrasonic cleaner to work. But what I'll do is I'll get a few things that I want to clean up first before I put them in there. We'll just throw this in there and uh, it'll be for another day. Uh, oil change. So let's get to that. Let me put this stuff in here. I'll put the O-ring in here also and this and the clip. So we don't lose it. Okay guys, so we're gonna do the oil change now. So let me just get rid of this and that. So the game plan, game plan here is to get a cup so we can pour that in. Let me just take off this connection piece here so it doesn't tip over. Give me a second. Okay, put that there. All right, so let's get a cup and we can dump that oil into a cup. Just gonna unscrew that, maybe. Okay, let me take a plier for that. Grab a plier. There we go. So with these things, what you gotta do is have it on a level ground and you gotta fill it right up to the, the uh, level point of the thread, not surpassed. So just dump like this. There we go, let's give it a second to drain. So we'll change it. Wipe off that. And let's just clean up this nozzle. All right, let's get some oil. I'm just going to put some 10W30 in it and just slightly pour that in. I don't know if I'm in the way there, guys, if you can see that. Ooh. Just pour that like so. Oops. And then just level it off. And as it's dripping out a bit, I'm going to pour a little too much in there, guys. I'll just let that pour out a little. Oop. Good. It's right at the right at the thread count. And we'll just put that back in. Tighten it up. And the oil change is done. Now we'll clean up this mess.
dripping all everywhere. Definitely not good. Let me just clean that up a little bit. and put them away and we'll run her up and spark her up and see how she goes. Okay. Well, let me just finish cleaning this up, guys. And we'll give it a start. So give me a sec. Okay. Cleaned everything up, guys. So let's see if we can get her started. guys she's good so we'll put that piece back on and she's ready for another season which is awesome all right tighten that up let's see if she'll go one more time So guys, next uh, project uh, for today is if you look at this corner here of the shop, it's a, it's a busy corner. So we've got the sandblaster, welder, car jack, uh, mag drills, grinders, and we've got our uh, miter saw. Now, what's happening is because of the ovens here, I'm losing access to all the cupboards in the back. Uh, I'm not really utilizing that miter saw right here. So I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy a stand for it and I'm gonna mount it to a stand and, and put it away when I'm not using it. Uh, what I really would like to try to do is uh, move all this stuff here, the uh, sand blaster and the welder to where that miter saw is. Uh, and then move this oven over to where that is and see if we can create a little bit more space. So what we're going to do is we're going to line this stuff up. I'm going to remove that saw from there for now. Uh, and then we're going to figure out uh, how much I'm actually going to be cutting off that bench. So hang in there, guys. We're just going to remove these rocks. I'll definitely keep these.
I'm thinking is to try to figure out if I can get those all in here. So the game plan, I guess, would be to cut this thing where? Need this. Let's take out these screws from here. So that's 30 inches. And this is 15. So that's 45. And this is, let's say, 50. So 45 and 50 is 95. Go right to the garage door. should fit. Okay. More or less. So even if I line up right here, I should be pretty good. Okay. So that's what we'll do. Let's get a square. square off of that. Right there. Good. That should work out good, guys. Well, let's get that uh, top cut. You gotta move the fan out of the way. But uh, we should be good. Set the depth of the plate.
the screws in.
guys, as you can see, I got it all uh, cut out. Uh, this is uh, for the dust collection. I will uh, get some pipe and re-route uh, that, and uh, we'll get that hooked back up. But for now, we'll just leave it as is. And let's see if uh, we'll move everything over. Let's see if everything fits. There you go, guys. She fit in there perfectly. Things are just a, a little messy, but uh, it's getting late. And uh, this old guy's getting tired, but uh, she's looking pretty good. So I'm just gonna move the oven uh, to this corner here. And uh, we're gonna call it a night. Guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support. Please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you.